What is up everybody, Max Smith here, and welcome back to another video. Just kidding. It's me, Super Mario Gamers. Um, today, Max isn't available, sad. So, um, we are having, we are having, like, just as a memory of Max. So, he's always with us in this video. We will be using Pizza Max 1234, they say. See, I have the username. Don't ask for Don't ask for uh, Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. It's been... Yeah, I haven't been able to upload that lately. Um, we will be having some vi a video on a new series, Nether Survival, coming out soon. But today is a Minecraft snapshot video with that thing behind me. And so... Don't forget to like and subscribe to Maximum Gaming, Life Maximum, Super Mario Gamers, and Cosmic Gaming YT. And without further ado, we will see you guys in the video. So soon we'll, we will be with Mr. Pickles because he said he'll be back with us soon. But he set up this pro, and I know we're in a new snapshot, but he set this up, so I have no idea what it's, what it's about. The first feature of the snapshot is ruined portals. You can find these throughout your world, anywhere, in the nether, underwater, halfway underwater, on top of land. You can find it. You can find these portals anywhere. And I'm just going to set time today. And we have a nice old world block right here. And the portal is kind of complete. We have some crying obsidian, so another way to get crying obsidian. And we'll do a look at that. We have some gold boots for some binding. Flint and steel, and some some obsidian to light this portal. And we will see where it takes us. It will take us to the Nether somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where. Like. Well, which, look at that, it's almost as if Mr. Pickles made it that way. We are at the next part of the showcase. So the first thing in the nether, looks like this isn't the biggest snapshot, um, is chains. So, okay, guess it's chains. Um, we have a crafting table, I would presume this is the crafting recipe for chains. Okay, so a simple way, pretty easy to get chains, just need an iron ingot and some iron nuggets. And we have some lanterns and chains, so let's have a soul fire lantern. So I, if you place them next to each other, they're solid blocks, confirmed, and apparently they don't like attach to each other. But I think they should be matching with the, um, look, yeah, they're, like, well, um, hey, that strider's just flowing up love like it has no cares in the world. So if we were to attach this, yeah, so the chains actually fit with the, um, texture for lanterns. Um, so you can make lanterns or something hanging from the ceiling using chains instead of having to use measly old iron bars. The next feature is Piglin Bastions. No idea what a Bastion is, just a comment, um, and I have an idea what a Piglin is. Punch, punch, punch. And by the way, I was lying, I do know about this, I'm not Mr. Pills set this up, but it's teleport. I will tell you everything you need to know about this insane structure right before us. Ima just to call it, imagine, oh, and basalt deltas as well. There was a feature added to the basalt deltas. There's a bit more lava, just to make a more volcan volcanic eruption type thing, because that's how they were, they were made, and the increased magnitude spawns. I forgot to cover that in bubble snapshot, I'm sorry. There are a lot of gaps, because we are in the middle of a salt sand battle. Have I mentioned to don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more snapshot reviews. Hopefully, not just with Max's skin, with actual Max. So, um, there's four parts 
there's like the actual piglet, there's the treasure room, the bridge, which we are on right now, and I think this is the Hogman State, but there seems to be no Hogman's. Um, this seems more to me like a Strider staple, because Hoglins do not survive in lava. So we could just put all our Striders in these pens and not have a care in the world. But this entire thing, if you didn't see already, is made completely out of black stone. The new blocks are good for decoration and also basalt and polished basalt. Um, sprinkled around the place. You can get some polish. Basalt, but the bridge has two gold blocks on it. And say we were to go in here, actually, no. Let's get to the part everyone in watching this video will probably want to get to. The treasure room. So there's tons of mis- There's tons of mismatching bridges. Tons of lanterns throughout this place. And, a g and finally a, a way to get gilded blackstone, so just a little extra gold. And, oh, you can see the chain blocks coming into play, and a chest. More chain blocks, some crying obsidian, iron ingots, iron nuggets, gold nuggets, everything you need. And, also, finally a way to farm magma cubes. There are magma cube spawners in here, and, have I forgot to mention, this place is infested with piglins. So now finally a way to farm magma cubes with this little old magma cube spawner. It's a bit fun. Um, I'm not sure how much XP magma magma cubes Maybe. gives you. Yeah, he is the owner of um Cosmo Gaming. Go subscribe to him. Okay. Cosmic Reset Sam is making a big deal out of it. Um, tons of gilded blackstone in these chests, spectral arrows, regular arrows, and um, yeah, so the treasure room is a pretty nice place. We will show you what's in the chest. Okay, it, this is perfect day on this squad. This entire room is filled with magnitudes at this point. So, yeah, the Magma Cube Spawner is a very good way to Magma Farm Priority. Um, let's see, okay. The good thing about the treasure loot in Piglin Bastions is that you can get Neverite stuff. And it can have mending on it sometimes. So, yeah, and Crying Obsidian, Gold, Iron, this guy. Um, but one of the best things about this treasure room is the spawn because you can because now you have a good way of farming magma cubes in Minecraft. And so, uh, this entire place really is in ruins. That's why it's Bastion Remnants, not Bastion. Um, not just a Bastion. Um, you can even get lodestones on, um, bridge loot. I'm not sure where you will locate bridge loot, but that's up for you to find out. Um, there is, yeah, so you get two gold blocks on the bridge, and on the outside of here, there's some little staircases leading upwards, and here we have Soul Speed 2, Soul Speed 2 book. Um, and the new, uh, the new music disc, so let's be free, the new music disc called Pig Step. We'll be getting to that later. Um, but up here you can kind of see the stairs are kind of broken. Um, and it kind of le and it leads you up to the top here of, I guess this could be considered a watchtower? I think it's like a watchtower-ish thing, but if, but, yeah, um, there's a lot of loot in these towers, um, so keep your eye out and you'll get some good treasure. So let's go down, like, the generation in these are, like, exactly the same, like, it's, it doesn't really, 
it doesn't, it's not really that different. But if we go on down, we have some lava falls um, leading down to the lava ocean. Or you can see some striders, basalt deltas. This. Ah. <gasps> I saw this whenever I was looking at the snapshot with Max the other day. Um, where it was two babies. Guess these guys have grown up. <gasps> um, and t as you can see, tons of the gilded blackstone. Um, and it looks like this area, this kind of staircase leading down, it's like a giant gash through the side of the building. So I don't know what the Bastions have been through exactly, but um, something that sent them into ruins. Um, if we were to go into spectator here, you can see it's like a very, it's, it, there's, um, multiple ways leading down and about, but, and over here, this is the main structure you'll find, the, um, I think every time it's spa one spawns with treasure room. I was saying before, there's polished basalt, here's polished basalt right here, I was right. This one, we got pretty unlucky with chests. You can get, like, netherite stuff, you can get a lodestone, you can get tons of items um, from Bastions. We'll, we'll be right back when we're, um, and I'll get a Bastion with a fairy. Okay, we found a new Bastion remnant. This one's, like, buried underground this bridge oh yeah you can it's in like it's underground so they can spawn anywhere so a little bit of it's in the yeah it's in the basalt deltas so there's basalt covering half the bridge so good luck um searching these it may be a little hard to tra to traverse your way but it's normally always the same structure that like that kind of spawns it's huge it's usually the same the stuff that like the main look is the same the stuff inside it can definitely vary but yeah you, um let's look it may be a little harder to traverse because there's all this um basalt just hovering in place where it's not supposed to and kind of the same thing some lava falls a lot of chains Every one there will be a magma spawner, which is nice. Is in the magma spawner. Um, Neverite sword knockback too. Adding on to my Neverite theory. Theory. Let's stir this before too many magma cubes spawn and it starts getting off the game. That is a high possibility, but tons of complex corridors leading to chests. Tons of arrows. Um. I'm not sure how, if it was just a matter of time that, like, destroyed the Bastions, or if they went through a war or something. More soul speed, so a really good way of getting soul speed. A lot more arrows, gold, some crying obsidian, bone blocks. I think some of the new music from last night felt is playing with them. It may be hard to hear, but I can hear it a little bit. It's like, boom, boom. Bum, bum. And also, each one has like one of these little cages, which I'm not sure what they're for. And then this area that if you get away from me, uh, that leads out over here. Ugh. This way through the basalt covered <laughs> um so you can see kind of the same the loot can vary um some and yeah this leads out into the basalt deltas which i'm not sure if i already mentioned a bit more lava was added just to make it more delta -y because it's from like volcanic remnants or something i was recording the first part of this video yesterday so don't judge me about the guess Let's just go down, go on down, and there, in this half, it's, there aren't really that many chests, 
but I know whenever the, fir the first time I explored the um, a Bastion Remnant um, with Max, um, there were tons of chests all over the place. But a good, a really good source of Blackstone. Oh, here's a chest over here. Nope, ne never mind, that's part of the treasure. Ugh. But you can get tons of good loot off this. You can see there's this part right here that isn't even attached. Oh yeah, it is attached. But there, but there can be some very weird parts like this. There's tons of chiseled blackstone, and so you can. The some of the things that are unique to here that spawn chains. Um, you can get piglin bag banner pattern from a bastion. Well, imagine just turning the currency one of these giant blackstone behemoths. Um, um, oops. And, and, you, and, um, you can get the pig step music disc and tons of netherite stuff. Um, these portals, they do not specifically lead to the bastions. I know that. Um, but... If you're lucky enough, they probably could. They most likely will. If in the Never, they're more, they're mostly on the level ocean, or they're in a wall. Yeah. And last thing, England music. So let's crank the volume. My ears are gonna break. So. It's pretty nice music. I like it personally. I don't know why whenever I turned my volume up, the brightness went up. Um I really like the music. It's good. There's a strider up there. Buddy. What are you doing? Let's see. I know there's a glitch. Yeah. Mojang, you may want to fix this. There's a levitating strider. I don't think that's gonna I don't think that's supposed to be. Yeah, so we we found a glitch in the system, Mojang. Fix this. If you if a strider goes up a lava stream, then that glitch will happen. I've never tried this out with music disc, but yeah. If you go far away, then. So it, this would be a nice music if you, like, I don't know what you could do with it, but it's a new music this. I'm good with it. This music's loud, so stop. Um, so, yeah, the Bastions kind of were the main source of everything with the Piglin music, they, uh, and the best way to get Blackstone in game now, instead of finding a Basalt Delta, um, instead of finding the basalt deltas, just, yeah, um, um, not sure if you can even hear him, because I have my headphones on, that's why I wear them. I look, my skin looks like with netherites, yeah. Um, so I think that is where we are going to wrap up today's video. So without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, see everybody.